Hi, I'm Dan with GameSalute.com. We're here at Gen Con 2010, covering all the latest and greatest in games. And we're here at the WizKids booth with Drew. Thanks for joining us here on the show. Hi, Dan. It's happy to uh, talk to you guys. And we're going to look at the two new Star Trek games. This one is a co-op game designed by Ryan Knizzi, I believe. That's correct. This is called Star, Tr Star Trek Expeditions. It's a four-player co-op game designed by Kinesia, as you said. Uh, it, it really feels like you're playing through an episode of the end of the the the, the, uh, the series. The series. Um, each of the players takes on the role of one of the bridge crew, and together you have to work to convince a, a new planet to join the Federation. And at the same time, the Klingons have some political intrigue on the planet's surface. They're starting a Klingon uh, civil war. And in orbit, there's a battle cruiser who's taking pot shots at the Enterprise. So you really have to figure out where the, char the main characters are going to go in, on the future turns and what's best use for their skills. And is this a full-size board here, or is this uh, a mock-up? This is a full-size board, and in this really early prototype, we're using pawns, but these pawns will be replaced by 3D Heroclix miniatures of the bridge crew, Kirk, Spock, McCoy, and Uhura, and we'll have highly detailed 3D starships of the uh, Enterprise and the Klingon battlecruiser. Do we have an idea when this is coming out? We do. Early 2011, it'll be $49.99 for the complete board game. And uh, one, of the, one of the cool things about this game is it uses a branching mission system. So there's about 16 or so different endings to the game. And how well you succeed on missions opens up different parts of the plot. Uh, so I see you got decks of cards over here. Are those like abilities that you have, energized cards? Yep. So in the, energi the energized cards, one of the main things that you do with them are build away teams. And you security fame at the red shirts. There's a lot of red shirts. And as we know from Star Trek, the main crew can't survive unless they bring some security officers, security officers with them. So you'll build away teams for each of your characters, move them to the planet, explore new locations, find missions, and solve them to some degree of wellness or another. And that determines how well you succeed in, in, in the story of the game. So it sounds like each game is kind of like an episode. It's, it really feels like you're creating an episode as you go through. Now this one's set in the 2009 movie universe. Um, so it'll be the, the Chris Pine version of Kirk. Okay, great. And you got some politics trackers over there, Civil War and those, Ecology? Those are the three, uh, the three goals that you have to achieve. Stop the Civil War, fix the planet's ecology, because they're using some very low-tech energy generation systems, and also the politics track is, did you convince the planet to join the Federation? If you fail, they will join the Klingon Empire. Oh, okay. And so this scoring track, is that uh, your total points at the end? or nope, that the... the the three tracks that we just talked about, that's your total points at the end added up. This is, you're really under the gun because there's a Klingon fleet 30 days away. And you have to get the planet to join the Federation before the Klingon fleet arrives, or Starfleet can't send reinforcements, and the Enterprise will have to warp away. I gotcha. Okay, so co-op game, uh, how many players did you say it was for again? You can actually play one player, it's a, it's a very interesting solitaire game, but max four. So one to four players, going to be 50 bucks coming out early next year from WizKids, going to be using the clicks bases, but a totally co-op game from Reiner Knizia. That's correct. And then we have over here, uh, this is a separate game. Completely separate. So this game called Star Trek Fleet Captains draws upon all of the starships and all the cool plot points from everything from the original series through Star Trek Nemesis. And in this game, you're... There's a new quadrant of the galaxy has opened up, and the Klingons and the Federation are vying for control. You choose a fleet, and the fleet that you choose determines how you gain influence over that sec the sector of the galaxy. If you choose combat-oriented ships like the Prometheus, that's the Federation ship that splits into three cool sections to fight, you'll get combat missions. If you choose science-oriented ships like the Voyager, you'll get science missions. Each game has a pre, it scales, and each game has a predetermined number of victory points, and you earn victory points by exploring locations, defeating enemy starships, um, building star bases, and my favorite is, well, Star Trek's never really been completely about ships duking it out. Every time you explore a new location, there's a chance of getting, finding an encounter, and encounters are giant space amoebas, and the giant planet cornucopias of doom, and Q, and tribbles. And if you solve encounters well, you get additional victory points. That's great. And so, but this one is not a co-op game. You're all fighting against each other? That's correct. The two players are vying for control, and only one player is going to win. And what's the format of this going to be? How can we buy it when it comes out? Well, the first thing you need to know is it's not collectible. This is a big box set. We're still working on the final configuration. But right now, it's likely to be 10 Federation starships and 10 Klingon starships and a big enough um, 
deck of locations to play a huge galaxy of 50 locations. Right, and so it's just two players. It's going to be a box set. Sounds like it's going to be a box set for two people. Is that That's right? Correct. Everything you'll need to play is in the one big box set, uh, and this will be coming out mid 2011. Okay, and we got a very rough prototype here. And obviously, are these uh, samples of what the ships might look like? This is what the sh what one of the ships will actually look like. What you see here is something very cool. You're getting a peek behind our, our manufacturing process. We use uh, digital prototyping to take digital sculpts of the ships and then output them in a 3D printer. And these are not to scale. We print them a little bit larger so we can check the detail on the model. And then we print it actual size, like this one. This is actual size. And then we send this to the factory for them to make lots and lots of them. That's awesome. So uh, those will be on click spaces like that. They're like the double click spaces. That's correct. And each ship has a um, three damage levels. And inside each damage level, you have a certain amount of power to distribute between shields, engines, weapons, and sensors. So you have to figure out what you want your ship to do each turn and then reallocate your power by turning the click style to that setting. Very good. Well, it looks very exciting for these two new Star Trek games from WizKids. Star Trek Fleet Captains, two-player battle game, and Star Trek, what was the full title of that Expeditions. one? Expeditions. Expeditions. And that's a Rhino Knizia design. Uh, so those will be coming out in 2011. Stay tuned to Gamesalute.com for more information. Drew from WizKids here at Gen Con 2010. Thanks very much for taking the time to talk with us. Thanks, Dan.